What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchUpEssentials.com back with another SketchUp extension tutorial for you. So this is kind of a different kind of video in the sense that I wanted to take a couple extensions that I really like, um, Placemaker and Enscape, the uh, real-time rendering extension, kind of put them together and just see what I could come up with. And I figured I'd just make a video about it and just uh, talk about what I was doing as I go. Um, before I get started, I do want to take a second and thank my supporters on Patreon. Patreon, as you know, is the website where you can support creators that you like on YouTube. So if you like what I'm doing on this channel, if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to uh, click that link in the notes down below. Now let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so this is a new thing for me in the sense that I've never really done a, uh, a dual screen tutorial before. I'm going to try to show you kind of what's going on on one monitor with my actual model and then what's going on in my other model in Enscape. So first of all, this is a model that I've downloaded. It's basically the city of Denver. You can see Coors Field over here. I believe this is the convention center, but basically I brought all of this in with just a couple clicks using Placemaker. Um, Placemaker I've talked about before, but it's the uh, city creation extension for SketchUp. Um, and I have linked to that in the notes down below. I will note I'm an affiliate for that. So if you do end up purchasing Placemaker, I do receive a commission. I always want to be upfront about that with you guys. But I do really like what this extension does because it would have taken me days and days to probably model something like this. Instead, I got all the roads, all the water, everything like that in here with a single or a couple clicks. And so now what I want to do is I want to take this and, you know, I, I can get some kind of cool views out of my SketchUp models, but what I want to do is I want to take this and move it over into Enscape. And Enscape is a basically a real-time rendering program. So there's the two different kinds of rendering programs. There's the kind that generate kind of a still image or take everything and uh, you kind of spit it out and then it renders in the background. Or there's the ones where you can actually fly around, move around in real time. And so in order to do that, we're going to go up to our extensions. And if you have Enscape installed, if you have Enscape installed, you can just go to either your toolbars, right click and go to Enscape. And interesting, there's actually an option in here for Enscape capturing, which I haven't really used before. I don't think I'm going to do too much with it for right now. But basically what you do, and I'm going to drop this in my toolbars area just so it's kind of out of the way. I'll drop the placemaker menu up there as well, just so they're not sitting around in here. But basically what you do in order to run this is you just click this button for Start Enscape. And it's going to pop up a window, and I'm going to move that over to my other monitor. And what this does is this basically pulls up a real-time view of your model. So, and you can see this is in here, and I'm going to go ahead and open up my settings for Enscape. So I'm going to click on this settings bar, and I'm going to keep this over on this right-hand side. And so the, the settings is what you can use to adjust basically the way your model looks when you're rendering it in Enscape. And I'll kind of drag it back over in a minute when I'm actually using it. But one of the things to note is right now I'm kind of flying around in this model. And I'm actually moving right now. So I'm holding the W key and also the control key to go faster. But you can see this is still taking me a while to zoom in. That's because this model is so big. And uh, so you're moving pretty fast, but the model's just giant. And so there's a couple different things you can do about this. The first thing you can do is there's an M key. So if you tap the M key, you're going to pop up a real-time map. And so you can click on that map in order to kind of set your location. So in this case, I just kind of clicked on the corner. And one thing I'm not liking is it's not zooming out as fast as I would like. Um, but again, this is a really big model. But you can see how as I click in this map, I can move around in my model just by clicking. And I can also left click and drag in order to kind of move my camera view around. So that's the first way to kind of move around quickly in a model this big. Um, the second thing you can do is you can actually move your mouse to a certain point and double click. So for right now, I'm just going to double click on this point right here. And you can see how that zoomed me in really fast. And so now as I turn around, you can see this is allowing me to do like a real time rendering of this. And what I really like about this, what's really kind of a cool 
when combined with Placemaker's new features is the trees. So the trees is a new feature. I think they had trees before, but they really improved it in version two. And so you can see you're actually standing in this park. You've got your buildings kind of off in the background and you've also got your trees in here. And I like the way it kind of seamlessly integrates with their cloud settings that they have in the background. And uh, you can adjust all of those in the Enscape settings. So if I go into like atmosphere, I can adjust the density of my clouds just by clicking and dragging right here. And I can also adjust the variety of those clouds and just the way that they look in general. So the amount of cirrus clouds in there, um, you, you can adjust a lot of different stuff and you can see how this adjusts in real time. Now I will say that I'm not 100% sure how this performs on slower computers. Um, I've talked about this a little bit, but I did just upgrade my computer and it has a really nice graphics card and it's not even struggling to run this um, at all. And I seem to remember on my old computer, I didn't really have issues with that either. Um, but just, just be aware, especially if you have a lot of textures in here, I mean obviously Placemaker brings everything in with more colors than textures, so there's not a lot of heavy duty stuff it has to load. So I'm not 100% sure how this runs on slower computers, but I know it ran pretty well on my slower computer before. I mean, you can see how I can basically get this cool image of downtown Denver just by kind of flying around with the convention center and everything else. And uh, one thing that's a little bit, um, you know, one thing that I do wish you could get a little more of in Placemaker and you really can't is kind of textures for these buildings. It would be cool to have the kind of skin textures in here, but at some point you're a little bit limited by the data that's out there. I do still think this is a really cool image. And so the other thing I'm going to know is if I come over here into my SketchUp model, um, if in my settings for Enscape, so if I go to extensions, Enscape, if I click this button for synchronize views, what that'll do is that'll lock my view to my view in my SketchUp model. So you can actually navigate in your SketchUp model and it'll automatically adjust in Enscape as well. So you can see how I can adjust my view over here on the right hand side. That's another faster way. You can see how I'm getting a little bit of delay in here as it tries to update this. Um, but you can see how that's, that's another way to move around in this really quickly. And so one of the things I can do in Enscape is if I hold the shift key and I hold my right mouse button down, you can adjust the time of day. So it'll automatically adjust like your sunlight and your shadows, that sort of thing. For some reason, these buildings are bringing in um, some kind of like lines on the face. So there's a couple different things we can do about that. The first is um, if we go to the general settings in Enscape, you can turn your outlines off if you want to. So I can take those and I can turn them all the way off. I honestly like it better with the outlines on. I think it gives you kind of a, a little bit of a cartoony type look, but at the same time, I like the way that it looks. And honestly, I'm not 100% sure what's causing that. Um, I could probably take a closer look at these textures in here, but I'm gonna go ahead and leave those for right now. You know, it's funny, if you zoom in, they kind of go away. I'm not really sure what's going on with that, to be honest with you. But in any case, I'm gonna go ahead and turn my outlines back on a little bit more. And you can adjust the strength of your outlines by clicking and dragging this in your outlines. And so I'm gonna go ahead and kind of set my view with my SketchUp model. I'm finding that to be a much faster way of kind of uh, navigating around in my model. I'm gonna turn my outlines down just a little bit. One of the other things you can do is you can also adjust this into white mode. So if you wanted to, you could set this whole thing so that everything is white instead of textured. So you could set this up in a way where everything kind of looks hand sketched. Um, I think that's a really cool look in here as well. And then if you kind of rotate down a little bit, you set your view up right, you basically get this hand-drawn sketch and you can have your clouds kind of in the background. And see, another thing that you can do is you can turn off different layers. So if I wanted to, for example, I could take this and I could just turn on the tree layer or the path layer. So you can turn your different parts and pieces off in here as well. So you can also turn on this light view to figure out where your light is sitting at any point in the day. So if I hold the shift key and I move this, you can see how this is actually showing you where the shadows are gonna sit on your city. So if you were to come in and like, for example, if you wanted to build like a high rise or something like that, like let's say, let's find a lot real quick.
let's say we were building a high-rise building right here you could bring that in and you could figure out how exactly that was going to affect the lighting of other buildings in that same area so you know as as your day goes on you can figure out exactly how that lighting would affect this building over here so from a real-time standpoint it's really quick and really easy to come in here and make some of these changes whoops and you can see how this adjusts on the fly as you go so and then another thing that I could see Another thing I could see you being able to do with this is you could also create some pretty cool architectural diagrams. So like for example, and you'd have to come in here and kind of adjust the rest of the colors in here, but you could come in here and you could create kind of a kind of an axo view kind of looking down at this. And then I could color this up using my materials in SketchUp. And you can see how that'll come in at a certain color. So if you were to take the rest of this stuff in placemaker and let's see if we can make it all white i don't know if we can yeah you kind of can so right, so you could come in here and you could take a color just a white for example and you could apply that to most of your models in or most of the uh, buildings in your model and so you could set this up so that you'd have a diagram with all of your existing buildings in white and then your new building in red so you could come in here and like let's say you had a bunch of windows so you could set this up in a diagrammatic view so you could show things like site work and buildings with the different colors so I think there's a lot of cool possibilities in here so and then obviously you can export stills of these images as well so um, you could take this and you could export it just as an image to use in a presentation you can also set up animations so with different scenes so what you would do is you would set a start position here but you could set this as your end position and then you could do a preview video showing what that would look like over here in Enscape. And then once you like it, you could export that as a video. Again, I mean, this, this video was just me kind of playing around with the capabilities of the software and seeing what I could come up with. I'd love to hear some ideas from you guys as to what I could do with this kind of thing. That's where I'm going to wrap up today's video. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you thought. Is this something you're interested in? Uh, would you like to see more stuff on Enscape? I just love having that SketchUp conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new SketchUp content every week. If you like what I'm doing on this channel, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Every little bit helps, even if it's only a dollar a month. But in any case, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it. I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.